Perfect. Alice Perkins is done. I agree with you, Clara. After what she did to Mr. and Mrs. Gravely over the last three months, she truly deserved to spend eternity in hell. Wait a second. What are Chloe, Sophia, and Zizzy doing? Alright. Now that we are in the graveyard, we will use Ryan logic to bring Alice Perkins back to life. I agree with you, Chloe. Me too. Witnessing her resuscitation will make Samantha very joyful. Let's go. The triplets are going to revive Alice Perkins? Uh, no. There is no way they are going to revive her. I must contact them and Zeta about this. Oh, hey, Clara. What do you want? We want you girls to leave Alice in hell. Because Carl has already done something worse for you three, such as phoning Professor C to warn Grim about using the camera, an electromagnetic pulse transmitter, to kill you. Yeah. And it's also because she broke a league of entitled Karen's job three months ago. That's true. Because Moscow, Russia is too far from Canada. So Destiny and her parents can't go. Yes, yeah, what Sophia said. I don't care. Just keep my plan at 100%. That is correct. Therefore, I advise you to immediately leave her in hell, or I will contact the police. Karen, that wouldn't work. Did you not hear what Clara just said? Carl already did something worse for the triplets, like calling Professor Z to warn Green about using the camera and electromagnetic pulse emitter to assassinate them. No way. We are not going to get killed by an electromagnetic pulse. Yeah. So Carl shouldn't have done that. Don't you remember? The Kelsey clan saved Millie's life and we saved Molly's life. So now we are going to save Alice's life. You bunny girls better not make Clara repeat her plan again. Because Green was about to use the camera to assassinate you three. Furthermore, Alice deserved to be in hell since she refused to allow Mr. and Mrs. Gravely to contact Jan in order to transfer Destiny and her parents to Moscow, Russia. We don't care. We're going to bring Alice back to life no matter what. That's it. You girls had your chance. It's over for you three. Have fun being in hell. You're right, Clara. This is now going to be over for the triplets. Okay, we're going to hang up now. Enjoy hanging out with the League of Entitled Karens. We will Zeta. Bye. Now it's time to apply the Vian logic that will solve the problem. Vian logic, activate. Alice Perkins, come back to life. Chloe, Sophia, and Zizzy, is that really you? Yes, Alice. We used Vian logic to bring you back to life. Well, thank you so much for saving me. It's no problem. Let's take you back home where you belong. I have to say, you three are the Lala twins' nice neighbors. Why? Thank you, Alice. What do you think about the falling leaves? I think they look pretty. That means, winter is coming soon. We know. By the way, where were you born exactly? I was actually born April 1st, 2011 in Nilsville, Texas, the United States. Oh. So we think the funeral man got your birth date wrong, didn't he? Yeah. So you're not 13 years old, you're 12. Yes, but I will be in 2024. Awesome. And we think your big brother was born the 19th of March. 2003 in Austin, Texas, the United States. That's correct. It is time. Roger that. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. An electromagnetic pulse killed me first. And now it murdered the bunny girls too? This is not right. I had to go back home immediately. 
I'd better call King Dedede and ask him to take me there. Mom, Dad, Kenward, I'm back home. Alice, you're alive. Who is responsible for bringing you back? It was Chloe, Sophia, and Zizzy. They used mind logic to revive me. But sadly, they got assassinated by an electromagnetic pulse. What? Are you serious? Again? First, you got killed by an electromagnetic pulse, and now, it did the same to the triplets. No way. They are Molly and Millie's best friends. I agree. Whoever did it to the Bunny Girls is not going to get away without a punishment. In any case, I'm very happy to see you again. I'm sure your friend is still upset about you in her room. Thanks, Kenward. Alice, you're alive. It's a miracle that you're back. Samantha, I'm delighted to see you. I was brought back to life by Chloe, Sophia, and Susie with the help of Bind Logic. That's great to hear that. What's wrong? Did something happen? Yes, apparently. An electromagnetic pulse assassinated Chloe, Sophia, and Susie. Yes, Alice. My big brother Lou already told me that. This is absolutely ridiculous. Chloe, Sophia, and Zizzy are the Lala twins' neighbors. Yeah. Whoever did it is going to be in huge trouble. And I think I already know who did it. Really? Who? You see, Alice, Lou just told me that it was Carl, a troublemaker made by Maurice the Steven Universe and Kirby fan, who phoned Professor Z to alert Grim to the possibility of using the camera, an electromagnetic pulse emitter, to kill the bunny girls. Oh my goodness. Carl is in deep trouble now. Yes, I am aware. Lou has already phoned his parents to ground him, so don't worry. Yeah, I'm just so glad to be back. Carl, come downstairs right now. You have a lot of explaining to do. Okay, Abuela, I'm coming. Where are Mom and Dad? Your parents are both at work. Anyway, did you really phone Professor Z to notify Graham to use the camera to kill Chloe, Sophia, and Zizi? Tell me the truth immediately. As a matter of fact, yes. It was me that phoned Professor Z to alert Grimm to the potential for the triplets murders utilizing the camera. Why? It's because they intended to bring Alice Perkins back to life, even if she didn't deserve it. I'm so sorry, Abuela. Please give me another opportunity. Definitely not. What in the world is wrong with you, Carlino Casagrande? You have just destroyed Chloe, Sophia, and Zipsy by phoning Professor Z to alert Graham to the possibility of using the camera, an electromagnetic pulse emitter, to murder them. We have no idea if they are alive or dead. That's it. I'm done with this nonsense. Lie down on the floor right now. I'm going to summon my Chancellor so I can spank you. Please? No, not the Chancellor. Oh yes, the Chancellor. Now stop talking and do as I say. I am not going to say it again. Now get your ass to your room. You are grounded until Dylan turns 23 years old. <laughs> 